excited about today's video because one, it's involving my daughter. Two, it's involving me because it's like a birthday date, Valentine's Day. I was born on Valentine's Day for those of you that are new. And three, I'm actually collabing with a good friend of mine. Her name is Nia. And some of you may know her from Sam and Nia. Their vlog channel is adorable. Their channel is just so much fun to watch. My daughter loves to watch their daughter. Her name is Symphony and she's so adorable too and their son Abram. Mia, um, I did meet her in person at a gathering. After I met her, um, I got her channel and I, that's what got me into watching their vlogs and then I noticed she had another channel called Mia's Nest and that's the channel that I'm actually collabing with today and I'm super excited because that channel has a lot to do with like DIYs, um, pregnancy updates because she is currently pregnant at the moment and it also has just like little like exciting things that have to do with motherhood and crafts and all kinds of stuff like that so I'm collabing with that channel and what we're doing is actually doing um, treats and she's doing a punch for our daughter's first Valentine's Day parties. My daughter hasn't had hers yet. Um, her daughter already had hers and I heard her punch was a hit. So you guys definitely check out her punch that she made after. So these are just ideas for if your child is having a school party for Valentine's Day. I remember those days, those were the best. I still love going to school on holidays when they would have like cupcakes and all that kind of stuff. And remember giving out little like um, cards and everything. That was always so fun. But um, now that I'm a mom, I get to be involved with my daughter's parties and all that kind of stuff. So I just show really simple ideas, two treats, um, and a little bonus thing in there. But the two treats are really, really simple for like moms that are just like, okay, I need to hurry up and make something for my kid's um, party, but also very, you know, tasty and looks presentable. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, and don't forget to check out Mia's channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. So for the first one, I have a pan and I'm adding parchment paper and then I'm going to use some plain Greek yogurt. You can use flavored yogurt if you want. It's up to you. You are now going to put in the yogurt and then you're going to spread it evenly, but don't make it too thin because you want the bark to be able to break. Now it's time to sprinkle with some strawberries. You can even add blueberries, dried fruit, nuts. It's up to you, but since it's Valentine's Day, I thought the strawberries would look really festive in here. And plus strawberries are a favorite fruit of ours in our house. And for the sake of Valentine's Day, I added in some Valentine's sweet tarts to make it look a little more colorful and more festive, but I only did it on one side just in case, you know, some parents didn't want their kids to have the candy. So I did half and half. Next, I just placed the pan in the freezer for about five hours and then I just broke it up into pieces and it was all ready. I recommend serving this as soon as possible because it is yogurt and yogurt will soften up very quickly. But other than that, it tastes so delicious and looks very presentable. This next treat is very easy. You're gonna need some candy melts. I got these at Michael's and some strawberry wafers, sprinkles, and right here I just crushed some of my heart candies for a little cute topping. So I melted the chocolate. It took about a minute for it to get the smooth. And then super simple, just get the wafers and dip it in the chocolate and then it's time for toppings. Um, the chocolate does melt quickly so you gotta kinda hurry with the toppings. You could either dip it in the sprinkles or you could just sprinkle them on. I found out after that sprinkling them on is a lot better. And just be creative. I put hearts on some of them. I even had some cupcake toppers, uh, donut ones that were cute. And there are the crushed hearts right there. And then just colorful sprinkles. So just have fun. It's fun for the kids to do as well. And yeah, super simple. And as soon as the chocolate hardens up, it's ready to go. So 
if you made all those, you might have some extra chocolate and sprinkles and strawberries. And ta-da, look what you get to make. Some chocolate-covered strawberries. And just make them look so cute for Valentine's Day. And you could just eat those at home if you want. You don't have to share. Just kidding. It's good to share. Anywho, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.